we'll look at creating a table with opaque headings. I will just go straight into creating the, the table. All right, so um, this table, I have some information pre-typed, so I'll just paste them in. I have bus numbers here. I'll expand that column. I want to give my table a heading, so I'll put, I'll merge a few cells in the top here by highlighting the ones I want to merge and choosing merge and the center. And then I will say shuttle, shuttle pickup schedule. Of course, I'd have other headings above, probably the name of my company and a general name for the information found in this table. So this is size, I'm using size 12 there and size 12 times New Romans for the rest of the information in my table. So I'll put in some pickup points, uh, my pickup points, my community names, probably I would say Falmouth. I have another one in um, Clarkstown. I do another one in Montego, Montego Bay, another one in Discovery Bay, another in Runaway, Runaway Bay. I'll do another one at, let's say, Salt Marsh. And I'd have one more pickup point. Let's say the other one could be in Wakefield. Wakefield. All right, so now I would expand my cells to fit all my information. And then I would put some time in here for the general pickup, which I won't have to do um, currently. So I'd put different times, 1 p.m., etc. And I'll just fill all of this information here, I mean according to the time that I'm using. All right, that just came out of my document inadvertently. All right. So I could decide whatever time you would put whatever times you're putting here for your pickup. And once you're through, let me just fill this up for um, the sake of presentation. Right. So what if I'd be not when I'm, I'm finished now, I want to put this in bold since it's another heading. Right. And all I'll do, I want to now change my headings to oblique. So I'll highlight the headings I want to change to oblique. And then in the home tab right here, this button right here, I will choose angle, clock, counterclockwise. And it happens like that. And I want to have a external margin or border for my table. So I'll highlight the extra cell to the left, extra cell to the right, and one beneath, one below. And I'll go to the table border icon and choose outside border and just another thing to do i'm seeing a border here that i don't want so let me remove it a side border is there that i don't want so i'm going to remove that border i don't want any borders to be in my table so let me just say no borders in the table i just want the external ones good and now i need to Change the orientation. Since the table is wide, it will not be able to hold on the portrait orientation. So I am changing it to the landscape orientation so that everything holds on this page. Um, I might have to do some setting up. So I go to page break because I want to say that everything can hold comfortably. Right? Good. And then I go back to my normal view. I want to set up the page some more. So I'll go to file 
in the print tab you have the setup option so you go to page setup and in margins i want the table to be centered vertically and horizontally means equidistance from the top and the bottom left and right and i want headers so in my header section i want to do custom headers i want my name and i want table with oblique oblique headings i want it to be in times new romans 10 so i click on the letter icon and i can start typing here and my font should come up anytime now here it is times new roman and then i will say okay and that's great i say okay and you see the formatting appearing on the on the page and i go back to my main document because it's done and that's exactly how you do your table with oblique headings and format for your work